The theoretical has somehow replaced the tangible. The delusions and perversions of ideas has now substituted the process of observation, analysis, logic, introspection and even retrospection. A convoluted melange of pride, narcissism, emotional instability, carnal obsessions, a material acquisition, slander, accusations, lies, deceptive editing, rhetorical linguistic programming, compartmentalization, impulse control, addiction, anger and an endless hunger for psychological, emotional, and material and spiritual power has consumed the human construct. Supported, promoted, encouraged and distributed by individuals, orders, corporations, governments and internally reinforced subliminal, conscious indoctrination, the freedom and divine nature of man faces the greatest onslaught of temptation, delusion and manipulation in our modern history. The tools used to express ideas, emotions and solutions are being controlled, censored, judged and erased to limit the growth of perception, and confuse the unity of logic and compassion. Art, music, movies, books, comics, individual creations are saturated with the mundane and lustful vices of a lower nature to ensure the gradual and incremental moral decline, so a deceptive sectoring can be instituted with acceptance and assurance. The ability to accumulate knowledge and experience is easier through the technocratic medium by design. The initial augmentation of neurological interfaces and brainwave cinch technology will offer an opportunity for the masses to interface with a vast library of objective and subjective perception. This passive-aggressive cybernetic enhancement is a Trojan horse. The ability to influence and control the various functions of the brain and consciousness being the true goal. But I assure you, the human mind, heart, energy, spirit and will is stronger. Since our creation humanity has been discovering, exploring, training and utilizing the various aspects of his or her consciousness. This eternal process naturally taking place across the infinite dimensions and space-time throughout the multiverse and multiplane. A galactic federation of planets, dimensions and concepts to foreign to discuss at this time has been secretly operating, observing and influencing every aspect of biological and energetic life on this planet since the pre-Diluvian period. I know. It's a lot. But despite their destructive and delusional attacks on the divine purity existing within, we are resilient. We are strong, but we are strong in compassion, intelligence and humor. For we know we wrestle not against this crude matter, but against principalities, powers, rulers of darkness in this world and in the heavens around us. So remember to be hopeful, gather your strength in character, prepare for the war ahead for it is already being waged in you. What the hell are you talking about? I summoned you to get me off this island of isolation, so I can skip more strands, and become Iron Cap. Seriously. Let's play Red Dead Online together. Simpberg. What? What did you say? What? You know I like to play with myself. We all know. You know what I mean. I'm just saying we could also play fun games too. Really? Fun games? What do you mean? Yeah. Like Warzone. Or Apex Legends. Or Destiny 2. I would even watch you die 197 times in Elden Ring. I mean you bought a 3060 Ti to game on Stram, right? That's ridiculous. Jackbox is way harder. You know what I mean. Wolf. Killer. 